Yes, indeed. Hot, hot, hot. We're talking about hot chicken takeover. It's going to be a great July 4th weekend, synonymous with July 4th fried chicken. And look at the guys back here. Now, there's Nano working magic nuts. Joe, this is really cool. You guys have a gluten-free option for the people who come in and want some of the great tasting fried chicken as well, right? That's right. What, uh, where Nano's working now, he is pulling out our gluten-free boneless, which is treated the same as all of our other chicken, but we use a dedicated fryer mm -hmm. and a house blend of gluten-fried seasoning. You know, also our fries, same fryer, so they hand cut and also are gluten free. Gluten free as well, and that's cool because it's important to give, you know, now people are really health conscious, so it's important to give those options too as well, right? That's right. I mean, I think we, we have such an inclusive hiring strategy. We also want to be inclusive of our eaters and our guests, and this mm -hmm. was a great way to extend that. And up here in Northeast Ohio, gluten free is available every day. Yeah, that's really, really cool. And then back over here, this is where the magic was taking place. I know Deb is going to pull out some more fried chicken and get that going. Well, can, first of all, I want to say congratulations because you guys just got a gig at the Ohio State, right? We did. You were in the shoe, man, right? Not only are we in the shoe, but we were asked to be in the shoe wow. um, because of our ability to serve guests and, uh, and just great food. Yeah, and speaking of great food, let's talk about when you were coming up with the concept you and your wife years ago. Uh, how did that happen? Because we're looking at Devin work some <laughs> magic here. Yeah. My wife and I took a baby moon trip to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh huh. She was seven months pregnant with our first daughter, and we ate our way through the city. Yeah. As you'd expect. Yes, of course, with a seven-month-old. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, a seven. And, yeah. Uh, and we had hot chicken and felt like it was something that was missing from our community, Columbus, okay. at that time. Yeah. And uh, we were really just eager to bring it to life. Then. And here we are. And the different flavors we're looking at here range from what to what? Yeah, so we go from cold, warm, hot, holy. Uh, what we're plating up here is warm, gluten-free as well as our cold seasoning. Mm -hmm. And so warm is going to hit somewhere as hotter than most mediums, right. but kind of like that Frank's range. Right, right. Hot Got sauce. You. Uh -huh. Cold is just a, a dry season, a little pinch of cayenne, but a lot of flavor, kind of classic fried, southern Ooh. fried chicken. Yeah, that's, that's me. And then uh, your coleslaw is made in-house. We saw the banana pudding being mm -hmm. made in-house. A lot of scratch products, our yeah. mac and cheese as well, which is definitely not gluten-free. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's my grandma's recipe, just the same as the coleslaw, vinegar-based, and yeah. we've been at it for a while, so well, a lot of great options. You know, congratulations on your success, congrats on uh, the opportunity you provide to give second chances to allow your employees, and then allow them to grow within the company, and that's done really great. I mean, I see Devin is running a super tight ship. He started in just as an employee, and now he's a manager. So. Uh, Deb, again, congratulations. Chris, it's your mom's birthday. You wanted to wave and say your mom happy birthday? Happy birthday. There you go. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> and then there's Nano. Hi, Poppy. Okay, there we go. Everybody's happy. All right.